Hello athletes and fans of bodybuilding, Tarek Gindi with the Mr. Olympia. Andrew Jack won the Texas Pro in a dominant fashion. This guy is a genetic freak. He's tall, he's got a small waist. The separation on his chest and shoulders are incomparable. It's just hard to comprehend how he looks uh, from a front pose and even side shots. Now on the back, yes, I had a conversation with Chris Cormier who analyzed his physique perfectly. There's still a few things, minor things, you know, a little bit more hamstrings, a little bit more separation and density on the back. But we are talking about a genetic freak, somebody who's imposing. And actually Chris Cormier mentioned to me that he believes Andrew Jack could be on the first call out of the Mr. Olympia. Now take that in consideration, guys. This was his pro debut. And I wanna give credit to the people behind him, George Farah and Flex Wheeler. George Farah is one of the greatest coaches in the history of bodybuilding. And Flex Wheeler knows full well what it is to become a star very fast in this sport. Nobody turned at the Mr. Olympia with such hype as Flex Wheeler in 1993. Now guys, I want you to pay attention to this Mr. Olympia. Andrew Jack, Nick Walker, Blessing Awadibu, Huge Big Rami, Brandon Curry, Hadi Chupan. This might be one of the greatest of all times. Now moving on to the 212, Kareth Baggio wins the 212. There's no glaring weaknesses to his physique. He has the mass, he has the conditioning. My only advice would be create angles to make your physique more aesthetically pleasing because you're gonna be dealing with guys like Keon Pearson on the 212. Now moving on to classic, Courage Opara wins again. He was better this weekend. When I mean better, he was fuller, he looked bigger, but he didn't compromise his conditioning. Congratulations, young man, you're getting noticed. Now on the men's physique, Daniel Amons wins. He won last year against Andrew Ferguson, and now he wins against Andre from Romania, who's an amazing competitor. This guy beat two of the best guys on the Olympia stage. Who are you, Daniel Amos? I wanna know who you are because you're beating everybody and you're getting noticed as well. Now moving on to women's physique. Melissa Take wins that show. She has perfect conditioning for the category and she has just the right amount of muscle. We could do the same thing as some of the previous competitors, which is posing to minimize the waist. On the back double biceps, she has thickness, but we're missing a little bit of detail. That's my only advice to an amazing competitor. Figure, Jessica Padilla wins again, and this was her best look. It's hard to really point out any weakness on her physique. If she just gets the lats a little bit broader, this woman can be very dangerous at the Mr. Olympia. In the wellness, Devin Cambry from Louisiana wins. Now, very good, very, pleasing physique, she's blonde, she's attractive, she has the great side pose, amazing glutes, but my recommendation would be just point the toes a little bit more inwards so that the quads don't overpower the glutes and fully extend the legs so you pose tall. But a great competitor. In the bikini division, Daraha Hill wins. Now, everybody knows how great she is. And I want you to pay attention to how soft the separations are on her physique. She's soft on the midsection. It's not a diced abdominal section, soft. Her glute and hamstring separation is soft and beautiful. And that's what bikini is all about. She's one of the best and I'm not surprised she's going back to the Mr. Olympia. In San Diego, I was judging a very competitive show Bikini Pro and Amy Lynn Velasquez, who had won the Tampa, wins again. Now, Amy has improved tremendously. She added a little bit of muscle on her legs and glutes. And also, just like Dara, she's not really conditioned, which is what we want in bikini. She needs to contain the muscular development. She's got enough and just work a little bit on the posing. Pose like she won two shows and go to the Mr. Olympia telling everybody, hey, I might win this whole thing. I believe in you, girl, go forward. 
Now, the star of the weekend is in Brazil, yes. Felipe Franco, one of the most popular men's physique competitors of all times. He was the man in Brazil, he was the pioneer in men's physique. In the first IFBB Pro League show in Brazil, 2018, he lost to Diogo Montenegro. It was a devastating loss for him. Many people thought that he would quit. Well, he turned around and he won a show in Brazil, something that many people believed. They called him old and they said he wouldn't be able to come back on stage and win in his home country. Congratulations, Felipe Franco. You did it, young man, and now you're going back to the Mr. Olympia. This might be one of the greatest Mr. Olympias of all times. You can quote me right now. I will see you at the Mr. Olympia. Wow.